Hi, I'm Jamie Steele with Gemini Coatings, and today I'd like to talk about viscosity cups and why correct viscosity is critical to your shop. In simple terms, viscosity is how thick the material is in the can. Imagine a jar of honey and a jar of water. If you spilled both on the counter, which one would flow better? Viscosity is simply the measurement of a fluid's resistance to flow. Viscosity is also directly affected by temperature. Just like the oil in your car, wood coatings will become thicker when cold and thinner when hot. This is important to a finisher because if the coating is too thick, it will not flow and level properly and may have an orange peel appearance. Coatings that are too thick tend to trap air and solvent in the coating before they have time to escape, causing a problem called microfoam. Microfoam is a problem where many tiny bubbles are trapped just under the surface, causing a white haze in the film or even a sparkle effect where they are the most prevalent. To assure that the material will apply correctly, the viscosity should match the number specified on the product data sheet. Conditions that will cause viscosity to increase are the coating is cold, the container is not sealed properly when stored, the container is left completely open while in use, solvent evap evaporates rapidly here and the loss of solvent causes the coating to become thick using catalyzed material that is past its pot life. Although there are many viscosity cups available, for practical use out in the field, we recommend the use of a Zon number no. two, as they are more common throughout the industry, easy to obtain and work well for most wood coatings in most situations. How to take a reading. Viscosity is listed on the product data sheet at a specific temperature, typically 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. Viscosity reading is how long in seconds it takes for a coating to run through a specified cup. For example, if the viscosity listed on the product data sheet is 20 seconds in a number 2 zon, that means that the material should take 20 seconds to flow through a number 2 zon cup at the specified temperature. If the viscosity spec is given as a single number, an acceptable range is generally 2 to 3 seconds faster or slower than the stated viscosity. First, mix the product thoroughly by hand, but not aggressively. Do not shake as this will introduce air bubbles into the coating which will affect the reading. Using a stopwatch in one hand, hold the cup by the ring on the top with the other hand and dip the cup completely into the coating. Pull the cup up and out of the coating and start the stopwatch as soon as the cup clears. Watch the stream coming out of the bottom of the cup and stop the stopwatch as soon as you see a clean and complete break in the stream. Note the time and compare it to the recommended application viscosity on the product data sheet. If you have a Zon number no. 2 cup, but the product data sheet lists a number no. 4 Ford, there are conversion charts available like this one to help you find the equivalent reading for your cup. Always clean the cup thoroughly with solvent and a clean cloth only. Do not use any kind of metal implements such as a paper clip, nail, etc. to clean the orifice or you may damage the cup. You may get a higher reading than what is listed on the product data sheet because of some of the issues we have already discussed, cold material, solvent loss, etc. If this is the case, the coating will need to be reduced with the appropriate solvent until the viscosity reading is within spec. If the reading is slightly lower than what is listed on the product data sheet, it is generally not an issue. Making sure that the viscosity of your material is correct before spraying will ensure that your coating applies perfectly every time. See you next time.